morning, good morning my good friends, or it's the afternoon now, but anyway, maybe 5 o'clock, but that's not important today, I'm gonna take a look at this really really cool uh, team associated B4.1 factory team, world's car, released in 2012, kit number 9040 or 9040, yep yep my friends, let's take a closer look at this really really cool boogie. Hello, welcome, welcome back, my friends, to the new inbox. Gonna take a closer look at this really, really cool uh, uh, boogie today. This is uh, the team associated P4.1 factory team world's car. Uh, this is the same. This was released after the 2011 Ifmar Championship in Finland, I think, when. Ryan Cavalieri, I think, won one, uh, and he drove together with Ryan, what is it called, May Mayfield, and uh, I think Neil Craig, true, Neil Craig, Craig, Neil Craig, ah, something like that. Uh, anyway, anyway, my friends, one of the biggest uh, difference be be between just a normal factory team and the factory team. World score is uh, this has a um, eight millimeter longer chassis and of course a eight millimeter longer body. This is the Poland Bulldog. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Not my favorite type type of ca chassis without cab forward or cab forward or whatever they called. I like more like old school, but this is original on this one and it's for a world car. And then yeah, I keep it like this because that's cool. Has. Um, Another bumper. I re somebody told me what the name on this uh, pop up bumper was, but I can't remember. I tried to figure it out and uh, maybe I put in some text for you guys. Anyway, anyway, also this is the kit number for this one 9040. Like I told you, to uh, released in 2012. Yeah, and in 2013 they also co came with a 90. 40B, I think it's called, with the big bore uh, 12 millimeter shocks. So, not on this one, unfortunately. But anyway, still a really, really cool car. Yep, some cool blue posh uh, on this one, like on the factory team cars. And on this one, <laughs> I got this uh, car for maybe, I think about $80 or something. With some spare parts, some tires, and some spare parts, like I told you. Uh, one great thing was one of those spare parts was a brand new chassis in plastic and all. And I checked the price, those goes for uh, maybe 60, 70, 80, 90, whatever dollars. So just there was a good deal. And the, the chassis on this one, when I got it, was it was okay, but yeah, I had to put it on. Anyway, my friends, gonna take a closer look. Yep, yeah. So you can see. Cool bumper here. Can't remember the name. Cool aluminium uh, bumpers in the front and in the rear. Need a little uh, cover for here, but anyway, looks like this has a. Uh, is that an LRP motor, maybe? Probably is. So see, no wires on this one. I just put it in, so it at least looks cool. I will try try to drive this one day. Has the cool blue uh, motor uh, mount. I can take off, so you can see that. Nothing special here. Just some. Blue parts with the servo and yeah, nothing much, but as you can see, a brand brand new chassis, beautiful, and some other cool blue aluminium parts, really really cool. And this has uh, yeah, you can probably see it inside here, but you can put some weights in here. 
I don't know how many grams I put in uh, the original little metal uh, metal piece that was in there before. I don't know how many grams. Maybe 25 or 50. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no racer. I'm just do this for fun and most like I like the look of those cars and this has also some um, I can't remember the name on this one either but this is uh, oops it's a little windy here has the cool um, aluminium steering here I I also been told what the name for for that uh, part was but I can't remember but I will figure that out and put in some text for you guys somewhere here haven't bent a spoiler yet but yeah, I like this. Looks really, really cool. Okay, wait. So, I hope you enjoy this. Just a little brief look at this one. I, li I really like the old uh, boogies. Really, really cool. So, hope it's not uh, too windy. It's uh, blowing uh, kind of hard here, but... Yeah, we have to check the, the recordings later. I hope you can hear me. So, as you can see, on the colors of the leaves, it's starting to get soon, going to be winter here. And, but, as you can see, beautiful with all the leaves in different colors. Here it's only yellow and a little green, but some other trees around here have red leaves and things like that. Looks really, really beautiful in the in the autumn, but uh, then the terrible winter is coming, at least for me. At least I have my hobby room and uh, my car so I can play around with them and listen to some music and things like that, but still, I don't like this the winter shit. Anyway, one good news here at my favorite uh, place to uh, look at the cars. They take away the toilet, the shitter that was there. Probably because it's winter and no people coming to look at the, the rocks here when it's uh, winter. Anyway, yep, yep, my friends, not much more to say. Hope you enjoy this just a little, little video. Okay, you take care, my friends, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.